hey guys, um, <laughs> future are really uh, present Queen DJ right now, um, right here. Basically, I was recording that episode for Star Twinkle Pretty Here. I got through the whole freaking episode, but around like the 10, 11, 12 minute mark, my phone that I had on Do Not Disturb freaking rang, and it was my mother because she needed to ask me about how much, um, storage was on our phones because of some reason i don't know why and stuff so if anybody's wondering why the freak i got the f up to get my phone and why my mother is calling me i just wanted to say that now so then a lot of people are um not getting pissed over it and stuff but yeah all right that's all i wanted to say bye guys hey guys it's queen Deja, and in today's video i will be reacting to episode 16 of star twinkle pretty care so let's go ahead and get started in three Two, one, go. <sighs> How's your Monday morning going? Mine, my Sunday night, Monday morning sucked. Game of Thrones ending? <sighs> the worst thing that I've ever watched in a while. Never again. Like, oh God. Why do you need to win for your father? Can't you just win for yourself? Is that a little... See, no, you know what that reminds me of? Um, how competitive parents are during sports. My dad was like that, especially um, when I, myself, was in basketball for like two years. He wasn't like that when I went did volleyball because he, he wasn't mostly there for my middle school volleyball games. It was the same during my golf. So, yeah. I just, because of the fact is Monica wants to please her father so much that she forgets that she needs to please herself as well. So, I can, you can, I, I like, I know how she feels. And I can see myself a little bit in her between her and what's her face from last week? Miss Little Black Cat. Uh, blue, not Black Cat. Blue Cat. There we go. Yeah. But just, ooh. Make me happy, pretty here. Game of Thrones pissed me off today. I kind of wish I didn't have this sparkling ice kiwi strawberry naturally flavored sprinkling water. Sp sparkling water. Sprinkling. What the hell, DJ? I wish I had something else, but not this. Because this is not going to help. Excuse me. Oh, my honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, don't come. Oh, a chocolate banana. No, it's okay. This is basically Sinrun, except it's not by Kyoto Animation, it's by Toll Animation, so. <laughs> Damn, she don't know that people are leaving, except the one girl right there. 
but and now she's leaving. <laughs> Venus. <laughs> Well, you know, if we want to talk about Sailor Scouts, Sailor Venus is the best Sailor Scout. I'm just saying, you know, her birthday's in October. Mine is in October. Best girl. Of course it is. Excuse me. Things are tense, honey. What? That's because your dad. I mean, you know, also in a way, Madoka is like a child prodigy. She has her dad who is in this business and he's really, I don't know how much earning he gets, but like from what they're living, you know, she's living a very rich, not a little bit of privileged life. But because of the fact is with that, she has so much um, pressure to, towards her to be this perfect one. Like if you've seen Aikatsu with perfect Elza trying to be perfect. But that's not really the same situation with Monica. But there are characters who are very similar to both of them with their situations. <laughs> when did you get here? <laughs> She's also a prodigy. <laughs> oh, I gotta say, you are like that one character from Sunroon. That one guy I didn't like. I hated him so much. Oh, you're Monica's mom. It's busy. I mean, I want her father to come, but then at the same time, you know, if she's been let down before, it's going to be the same. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, that big ass sign. Got in her head. Not this time. Not because she got in her head. Sugar honey iced tea. Hold on, guys. I'm busy. Can I call you back? Just one quick question. Okay. How, how big is our phone? 128. 
Okay, thank you. Yep, bye, -bye. bye. Sorry, my mother. Okay, thank God. So it's a tie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's mean to say? Excuse me. Hmm, star donuts. Speaking of donuts, I had a star shaved donut today. Technically early too, and they were good. Thank you, Dunkin' Donuts. What's that? Oh wait, no, that's the thing that was on on um the Instagram page. Excuse me. You're not weak. Oh my god, it looks so good. I didn't really eat dinner, but I might eat a late dinner. But they're not her pretend friends, those are her real friends. Oh. And it has all their colors. Hmm. Oh. So eat, you'll need your strength.
Hold on, wait. Didn't last week, they didn't show this. They didn't show them transforming. How are you going to go from last week not showing? I just bit my mouth and that hurt my freaking cheek. Not showing the transformations this week, showing transformations. And then it's still messed up. That whoever is the main focus of this show, Star always goes first. I, mm -hmm, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Excuse me. See, this reminds me of that one episode of Sailor Moon where Sailor Venus did that power up, almost turning into a Super Saiyan. Like, um, okay. Nani is right. God, I want the OST for this freaking series. It's too damn good. Like, I mean, it's up there. It's godsend. Like, godly. It's up there with all the mode. Because all the modes was good as heck. Mm -hmm. Give me. Uh, that's all I want to do. Just let me listen to it. That and the freaking Carol on Tuesday soundtrack. Because I need that ish like a drug. Of course. Well, then they gonna make them use the dang arrow. Oh. I think I just go. Just keep 
continuously going. And But you're you're about to. You're too focused on her, and you need to be focused on yourself. Mm -hmm. Good job, though, both of you. Well, mommy. Mm. Yay, yay. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Even though the fact that my mother called me during this, I will put something at the beginning of this once I am done recording this episode. A little sorry, because I didn't know she was going to call me. I'm thinking she was going to be okay, and then she calls me about how much gigabytes we got on the dang phone, which she could have looked up on her phone herself. I'm just saying. Um, but it was a good episode. I'm really proud of Monica. And how she just... <clears throat> She did it. That's the thing. That's the only thing that freaking matters. I mean, she technically is still learning how to um, conquer her fears over talking with her father about certain things. Yes, because in the end, this girl's a prodigy, and she has a lot of pressure on her every single day, especially really more on her father and the stuff that her father is having her deal with on a daily basis. To be a prodigy of someone who is really, really important, whether it's science, business, whatever, and they're that quote unquote maybe famous. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot to deal with and be known for. But like I mean I'm happy for her that she can tough it out. But I feel like there's gonna be one episode where possibly she's not gonna be able to tough it out as she is right now. And she and her father are going to have this massive argument and the poor girl is going to say something she's going to regret. I might cry or something. They're going... Okay, see, that's funny. So last week, we meet Blue Cat... And Mal, and then this, and then the next episode, next Sunday, we're going to see her again. I, like I said, I really thought we weren't going to see her again until at least maybe episode 20. Like, I, I, I don't know how, I, like, I'm okay uh, about that. But yeah, I mean, it was a good damn episode. It's just that I really thought, you know, with the other girl, because she's all like, oh, I don't need friends. Like, she really reminds me of the guy from Sunroon. If any of you have seen that um, anime series from Kyoto Animation, which I highly recommend it. It's so good. <laughs> it's just, it's free, but it, like, it's the anime free, but then you have, um, instead of uh, swimming, it's archery, and there's cute anime boys, so come on, it's like the best thing. 
it, she was just always saying, I don't need friends. I've always been on my own and I'll even be on my own even after this. But it's like, you need friends to help you and guide you and cheer you on. You can't always be your biggest cheerleader and stuff because there's going to be days where you're going to get really tired of cheering yourself on and you're going to have to um, have someone else help you pick you up spiritually and bring you back to the ways that you were. And because of the fact is that Madoka and the rest of the girls got in her head so much, that's why she messed up. She didn't aim correct. Well, she aimed correctly, but it didn't go the way that she wanted to go. And why she ultimately lost in the end. And I do feel bad for her. But, you know, you know, it was a good game. She was a good sport. Nothing else happened. Um, I I'm still wondering, when the heck are they going to get this dark pin? Because what's your face? Like, it's been a couple episodes since she had this damn pin. So, I mean, there's going to be an episode where she's going to get... In the star, aka where the cake was, you know, get in the cake. Like freaking Julio and Alamode taking his long ass time to get in the dang cake. And then he finally got into the damn cake. And then, yeah, happy about that. But I'm guessing that's not going to happen until about probably episode. Until if Mao is a pretty cure when we find out in the next few weeks. Because, of course, we're going to find out in the next few freaking weeks if she is one or not. I think once she finally comes she, what's her face, the girl with the one eye, who I love so much, um, she'll finally get defeated, will get the pin, whatever pin it was, because I really don't remember what pin it is, I don't think they even said what it was, because it's been, because of the fact is that I watch so many different fucking animes, I don't always remember everything, um, but what I am hoping for these next few episodes, besides this one, probably, this is now, what, 16, so 18, maybe, just maybe blue cats and be like, you know what? I like still being a thief, but you know, I want to go on Earth. I want to see how Earthlings do their ish. I mean, Lulu's there with you guys. I mean, not Lulu. Lala. Lala. Lulu. She there with you, so let me go. Let me ha let me take a shot at it. Something like that. I just want her... I mean, this is now the start where we're going to be getting more time with her until we find out this girl is a cure or not. And so I'm hoping that if she does come to planet Earth with the rest of the girls, she gets more screen time. Just, I don't want it to be like, next week she gets a little bit, then she's gone for two episodes, and then she comes back. That would really screw me over. Just let her be consistent in these next two episodes. That's all I freaking want. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 16 of Star Twinkle Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for episode 17. Bye, guys.